What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the Ribby Roll SMG. Now, the Ribby Roll in this game is actually based off of the Shosha Ribby Roll 1918, which is a French submachine gun that was based off an LMG platform. It fires an 8x50mm R round, which is extremely powerful for an SMG. In COD World War II, we get a damage profile of 35, 30, 29, 23, which is the same as the Sterling as well as the Grease Gun, so it's always going to be a 3, 4, or 5 shot kill in core game modes. Our rate of fire is 588 rounds per minute, which is pretty much equal to the rate of fire of both the Grease Gun and the Sterling with Rapid Fire, so it essentially has Rapid Fire built in from a Grease Gun or a Sterling. But if you do want to equip Rapid Fire on this gun, that will take you up to 632 rounds per minute, which is very, very fast for a 3 shot kill SMG. Our statistical minimum time to kill is very fast at 204 milliseconds in the 3 shot kill range, 306 milliseconds in the 4 shot kill range, and 408 milliseconds in the 5 shot kill range. This is actually one of the fastest times to kill you'll find within the SMG category. Moving on to headshots, we got a headshot damage profile of 38, 30, 31, 25, and this means that headshots are generally not going to be doing anything for you unless you hit 4 bullets to the head at longer ranges, which isn't really practical, so I would say in core game modes, don't really worry about headshots. In hardcore, on the other hand, there is a small window where hitting them in the head will increase your one-shot kill potential just slightly. As for our ranges, as you can see here, we've got about a 12.5 meter 3-shot kill range, which is just a little bit shorter than the Grease Gun and the Sterling. And our 4 shot kill range extends out to about 27 or 28 meters, again just a little bit shorter than the Grease Gun and the Sterling. With Suppressor, all of our range values are reduced by 30%, and with Advanced Rifling, our 3 shot kill range is unaffected, but our 4 shot kill range is increased by 25%. As for Hardcore, our 1 shot kill potential extends out to about 20 meters with this gun, and with Advanced Rifling, it does impact your 1 shot kill potential in Hardcore, it will extend it beyond 25 meters. Moving on to hipfire, as you can see here, it's got pretty standard hipfire for the SMG category, it does fall within the better category. This brings us to idle sway, and as you can see here, it's relatively standard for SMGs, it definitely has some idle sway that will affect your shot at somewhat longer ranges, but as long as you're sticking to SMG ranges, generally it should have no impact on the outcome of your gunfights. As for recoil, as you can see here, it's pretty much straight vertical recoil, a little bit of side to side bounce, and it does go fairly strong vertically. This means it's quite easy to control, sometimes you'll get a horizontal bounce that you don't quite predict and it'll throw you off target, but generally this gun is actually quite accurate. Our magazine capacity is 25 rounds with 75 in reserve, and with extended mags we can bump that up to 37 rounds with 111 in reserve. Our reload add time, which is the amount of time it takes to reload without any unnecessary animations, is actually very good with this SMG at just 1.3 seconds. Our aim down sight time is pretty standard for SMGs at 190 milliseconds, and same thing goes with our sprint out time, also right around standard at 190 milliseconds. Our movement speed with the ribby roll is 100%, just like we would expect with SMGs, and our aim down sight straight speed is in line with the grease gun and the sterling, which is faster for the SMG category at 76%. So those are the stats of the ribby roll, now let's move on to my favorite attachments for this. First up, quick draw is often a good choice for any gun, including SMGs in my mind, so I really like running quick draw a lot of the times. Grip is one of the attachments that I will sometimes use on this gun. It can just help keep that side to side bounce down a little bit for you, so you can challenge people more comfortably at longer ranges, which is really nice. Steady aim is a lot of fun. I really find that hip firing with this gun up close, just like with the Sterling, is extremely effective, especially with steady aim on there, and you basically don't even need to aim down sight if you're right up close and personal. Extended mags is always an awesome choice, especially since this magazine isn't quite 30 rounds it's down to 25 so therefore it could use a little bit of help in that area and finally rapid fire rapid fire is an attachment I really like on this gun because it makes its time to kill ridiculously fast it's already pretty fast without rapid fire but once you pop rapid fire on there you're pretty much unstoppable when it comes to time to kill getting into a couple example classes I have for you guys first up is my standard objective SMG class you've seen this class before with various other SMGs I basically just swapped in the new one here with this one, we're going to be using the Armor Division with Extended Mags, Steady Aim, and Rapid Fire. Our basic training is going to be Scoped. Secondary is a 9mm SAP with Extended Mags. Lethal is a Sticky Grenade, and Tactical is a Concussion Grenade. For me, this is just the perfect, aggressive, objective-oriented SMG-related class, and it's exactly how I like to run most of my SMGs, and I really like this attachment setup with the Ribby Roll. Next up, we have a bit more of an exciting class. This is with the Specialist Basic Training Skill. We're going to be using the Resistance Division here, so that gives us our Sixth Sense ability as well as built-in Lookout. We have the exact same attachment set up here, so Extended Mags, Rapid Fire, and Steady Aim. Our basic training, like I said, is Specialist, and we're going to be getting Hunker for our first perk, Scope for our second perk, and Instincts for our third perk. And everything else is the same as the other class, 9mm SAP with Extended Mags, Sticky Grenade, and a Concussion Grenade. 
This one is excellent for going on those really long streaks. So there we have it. That's gonna wrap it up for today's gun guide on the Ribby Roll. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what are you guys thinking about this gun so far? Personally, I really like it. I've always really liked the grease gun. And this is basically a grease gun with built-in rapid fire, which I really enjoy. It handles quite well. I'm not the biggest fan of the iron sights, but I can definitely get over that. And this is a very powerful gun in the right hands. As always, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. I've already covered every gun in the game, including the Automaton, aside from the Mosin Nagant. That's the only one I have left. I will be getting to that at some point, probably next week, because we have the second weekend of the Black Ops 4 beta coming up this weekend. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.